Okay, it's video number five, and I'll bet you wonder where we're at. Well, I decided tonight I'd come down to the place where my cousin Claire Swan and uh, his wife lived, Doris, because and this is the first house south of my, our house where I live. When I was a kid, I was down here a lot. Uh, Claire and Doris had two children, Howard and Audrey. They were younger than me, but they were like a brother and sister. And I spent a lot of time down here. First place, Doris was a good cook and and I always got something to eat. But in addition to that, Claire was a mechanic. He had a shop out here, uh, a garage that he used as a shop, and he was always building something. He uh, could weld, and uh, he had a natural knack for it. As a matter of fact, he had a ham radio that he had built, and. Uh, he had model airplanes and all sorts of things like that, which of course I was interested in. I had gone from riding a pony, I still had a pony, but I wanted to progress beyond a pony. And I had a bicycle. I thought that was a good way to travel. And uh, Claire had built a small, motor scooter. He uh, had welded up the frame and put some, put the wheels on it and he'd taken a small Briggs and Stratton motor and threw a gear, some gears and a chain. He would rigged it up so uh, it worked pretty good. Well, I cut a deal from him somehow or another and got it from him. I don't know whether he gave it to me or I paid him a little something, but at any rate, I ended up with it, and I thought that was a great thing. So, and not only that, he was he was always shooting. Uh, he had a 22 pistol, and uh, of course, me being older than uh, Howard and Audrey, I could sort of try to boss them around. I sort of liked that. So I spent a lot of time down here. And uh, and of course back in those days we had an old a telephone system that uh, the phone was on the wall and you cranked it and so many cranks was your rang your number and it was a party line. You could listen in to what other people were talking about. And of course that was I didn't do much of that, but my mother wouldn't let me. But what I did do, I had a slingshot. And uh, one you made, you cut a, you found a crotch in a, tr in a bush or a tree, cut it off and cut some strips out of an old rubber inner tube and a piece of leather from a, uh, the tongue of a sho old shoe. And uh, fastened those rubber straps onto that wood fork that you'd cut and made yourself a slingshot. Worked good. You could shoot these little stones. Well, what I couldn't resist doing was shooting the insulators off those telephone poles. And, because they was made of glass and it was uh, something to shoot at. It was, it was an interesting thing. It's a wonder I didn't get in serious trouble. I had shot all the insulators off those telephone lines all the way from here to the corner to the south here, which is where the school was. And uh, when it rained, the telephone didn't work too good because with no insulators, it uh, grounded out. And every now and then they'd come along and put new ones on. But, uh, 
That was the thing I did. And across the road from Claire's house was another house back then and a barn over, well, I'll have to take a picture of that when I tell that story. But uh, the Bradford boys and their parents lived over there. And that was another great thing that happened to me because there was more kids around than there had ever been before. And uh, so I had a chance to associate with other people out here in the country. So, but this being down here, taking this picture in the back of me, this house was built, I believe, by, by my uncle, uh, Dor, a brother to my dad, Cecil. And he, I, I can hardly, I don't ever, I couldn't remember him living here because about the first thing I remember is Claire living here. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure that's the way it was. And uh, Uncle Dora had moved on down to the north, across from where my cousin Dennis lives now. Matter of fact, Dennis owns owns the property there, and and uh, the house where Uncle Dora and Aunt Irene ended up living. But uh, I wanted to come and take this picture, this video down here, be, uh, to show the house where Claire and Doris and where uh, Audrey and Howard grew up and where I'd spent so much time. Uh, I can't think of anything else really except that Claire ended up buying the 80, Claire and Uncle Vern ended up buying the 80 acres across the road here where where uh, the Bradfords lived. Well, before Bradfords, it was uh, Peters lived there, Wally, Wally Peters' folks. And uh, Wally, uh, I've got some stories to talk about with Wally and me. Uh, that's sort of interested, and so I think what I'll do is uh, when I get a chance, I'll take a video of that property over there, and I will talk about Wally, uh, Peters and his folks, and I'll talk about the Bradfords a little bit, and then I'll, I'll uh, I think what I'll do is I'll take a video of the house across the road where my grandparents lived, and uh, we'll have a, we'll develop a little story about that, and then I'll get back to where uh, I live, and we'll go from there. So that gives you an idea what you're what you're going to be faced with, and uh, you can easily escape because what you don't have to do is you don't have to watch these things. But if you, it may be interesting enough, enough so that uh, I can keep you hooked. That's all for tonight. I've been taking a nap before I got here, so my mind is not working real good yet. Anyway, thanks for watching.